What is going on, everyone? It's Jack and you from Nothing But Tech. Hope you guys are all doing well. About a week ago, I made a video uh, rounding up all the rumors for the iPhone 8. And I kind of put out a little sneak peek that I was going to be getting something like the iPhone 8 in. Uh, and I got it. Looks like this. Uh, so, all those rumors, if you want to check them out, I'll link them down below. But I have it in the flush now. I kind of have what the iPhone 8 is going to look like. So, I want to show you guys. This is a clone, a mock up, a prototype, whatever you want to call it. Uh, it's not the official iPhone 8, but it looks pretty damn close. Uh, most people will be tricked by this. So I bought this from China, and you can see with the box, on the front it has an iPhone 8 vector with the new vertical cameras, it has an iPhone on the side, and then on the back it has uh, some information about the device, and the translation is okay. They miswrote iPhone, normally iPhone is written with a capital P, but it's written all lowercase here. That's not a huge deal. I want to open up this box, show you guys what's in it. It looks pretty damn close to the real thing. It looks really uh, close to the iPhone 7 Plus. When you pop it open, it still seems pretty legit. You get a design by Apple pamphlet, and in the pamphlet, you get like a little user guide for the device. It all actually seems pretty legit. The material choice that they use, it feels a little bit more like fake and plasticky than the official iPhone model, but this actually comes pretty damn close to the real thing. I'm impressed the attention to detail here, especially for uh, this model. It cost me about 171 bucks, so for that price, it's really impressive like the unboxing experience that you get. The next thing you'll find in the box is the iPhone 8 itself uh, in plastic. The plastic job was not the best. But, uh, let's peel it off. That feels really good. Once the plastic is off, the jet black finish on the back is shown. And, damn. It actually looks pretty good. It's a fingerprint magnet, just like the real thing. Hope they wouldn't have copied that, but... It feels really good. We're gonna discuss the phone more in a second. But, right away, the things that I noticed on the back... It says iPhone designed by Apple in California, assembled in China. It has a model number. I mean, the attention to detail here is really great. And then the camera is vertical now. And that's the main thing. That's how you identify an iPhone 8 right away is the vertical camera. It's really cool to see that on this model. So it kind of gives you a sense of what it's going to look like in real life. I actually kind of dig it. It looks so much better in person than it does on the renders. Uh, but that camera hump is pretty large, but something that you probably spotted and something that I spotted right away is the fact that there's no fingerprint sensor on the back, which could mean two things. It means that Apple figured out a way to integrate it into the screen, or it means that they've done away with Touch ID, and that's if this model is accurate, which uh, it seemed pretty legit on the site. It was like a factory rendering, but if that's accurate, then that means that Apple either figured out how to put it underneath the screen or there's no fingerprint sensor. I'm hoping for option one, obviously. I went over all the different options and stuff in the rumor video, so you should check that out. But this actually looks sweet. And then on the side with the volume up and volume down, those don't feel as tactile as uh, the regular iPhone made by Apple. And then you have the notification switch. Uh, and it actually moves. All right, that's impressive. The antenna bands look like the renders. Uh, it has a nice finish, just like the uh, regular iPhone, and then if you flip it over to the front, this is where you're gonna see the big difference. This render was made before the bezel-less screen. So, I got this, and this is what the screen's gonna look like. Uh, this is a screen protector, basically showing what it's gonna look like, but on the screen protector it says Apple Decade Edition, and then it has an eight, so we'll see what they call it. But on this model here, you'll see that the bezels are a lot thicker than the actual thing. On this model here, this is a more accurate representation of what we're going to see, which is basically just a little bezel at the top and then a very thin bezel around the screen. This one does not show that as well, but the back is really spot on. And then uh, it has no home button, so I guess they're assuming it's going to be underneath the display. And then if you power it on, it actually is an Apple startup. Uh, so this phone does not run iOS, unfortunately. It would be pretty cool if we could get a phone that cheap that looks this good that runs iOS. But this runs a really, really good skin over Android, so it really, really comes close to looking like iOS. Uh, I'm thinking that the average consumer probably won't tell. Let me know. I'm thinking about doing this. I'm thinking about going outside, telling people that I have the iPhone 8, interviewing them, pranking them, see what they think, see what, uh, who notices. So let me know. I kind of want to do a video like that. I think that'd be kind of fun. So let me know if you'd be interested in that. But continuing on, this phone has a home button underneath the bezel on the bottom. So when you put your finger on the bezel on the bottom, it unlocks the phone. So that's kind of showing uh, the functionality of a home button underneath the display. Uh, and it actually works really, really well. So that's impressive. And in terms of the phone, it's actually 
pretty solid, especially the overlay of uh, the skin on Android that looks like iOS. Like this phone is actually a really impressive mock-up of what the iPhone is going to be and it kind of gives you a feel of having that screen size on the small body. So if you didn't know, the iPhone 8 is going to have uh, a 5.8 inch screen, so bigger than the 7 Plus, but in uh, approximately like the iPhone 7, 4.7 inch model body. So that's kind of cool. It's going to be awesome to get back to that smaller form factor, but I'm actually really impressed with this skin. This is very believable. It has a control center in there. It has the uh, notification slot. It has the widget bar. Uh, it has find my iPhone. And uh, something that's kind of funny is that all the apps don't perfectly work. Uh, so if you click on find my iPhone, for example, it will bring you to Google Maps. Or if you click on FaceTime, it will just bring you to the normal dialer which also looks really similar to iOS. Uh, the messaging app looks extremely similar as well, uh, but all of the, like, the little pop-ups and stuff, it's all Android at heart uh, because it's just an overlay. But it's actually, it's pretty impressive how close the skin came. And then in terms of other stuff, let's talk about those cameras. On the official iPhone 8, it's gonna be a dual camera system, which is gonna be great for augmented reality. That's why they're placed in that vertical position. Uh, and it's still gonna have the portrait mode, which will be helped by the vertical position. <laughs> this camera is potato quality. Like, no joke here. I would not feel comfortable ever posting a photo from this camera. Uh, it does have the 1X to 2X, but that is obviously just a digital zoom and it barely moves it at all. When you click 2X, it barely zooms in. So that is uh, definitely something that you're gonna notice right away. So the camera system on this mock-up is trash. I would say the Moto G is better, honestly. Uh, it was an interesting purchase for sure. I'm happy to that I was able to see the iPhone 8 in person. If you're very into technology uh, and you just wanna see what it's gonna look like and you have $170 to burn, by all means, pick this up. I'll try to link it below if the link hasn't been deleted. With these phones, they get deleted a lot, so I'll try to find a link to it. But I wouldn't recommend you buying this. I think that this video will do a good enough job showing you guys it. Uh, it's a really, really cool concept, and it's cool that you can get a smartphone like this for this little money. Uh, if you're looking for something that looks like an iPhone, you want to prank your friends, or you want to say you have the iPhone 8, by all means, purchase this, but... This is mostly just for us tech reviewers that want to just kind of show you guys what the iPhone's going to look like. So the main takeaways from here is the really, really thin bezels, the uh, vertical cameras, the dual cameras, uh, and the really small form factor. That's the main takeaways. This kind of just confirms what we already thought. If you want to hear more in-depth aspects of the iPhone 8, you should check out my rumor video. It goes a lot more in-depth than this one. But this was pretty cool to see, and it's also cool to see how good Chinese knockoffs are becoming. They got the pamphlet right, they got the headphones right, they got the box right. I mean, when are we gonna get a, a Chinese knockoff running iOS? That will be the big deal. Anyways, let me know what you think of uh, the iPhone 8. Are you excited for this design? I'm pretty excited for it. Uh, leave a comment down below what you want to see in the next video, and I have a lot more coverage coming to you guys, so you're gonna want to subscribe, uh, including iPhone 8 stuff and a bunch of other things. Thank you guys all so much for watching. I'll see you guys later. Bye.